when it comes to starting your software testing career. I often see people recommend that you get a certification. More specifically, I often see people recommend you get your ISTQB. But do I recommend it? In this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not I think you should get your ISTQB foundation certificate if you're looking to start your testing career and more specifically whether or not I think it would help you get your first job. I think getting your ISTQB foundation certificate is a form of signaling to potential employers. Now, whether or not it's an effective form of signaling is up to the recipient of that information. Briefly, signaling is a way to convey information and it announces your intention. So you then may assume that by getting your ISTQB foundation certificate, you have tried to inform someone that you are serious about testing, you're starting your testing career, you know some of the basic terms and so on. I asked some people on Twitter and on LinkedIn, so social media, self-selection bias, about what someone who has gotten their ISTQB foundation certificate, what that signals to them. And here are the results. I'll also link this in the description below. When I was going through people's comments, I realized there were a few things that people kept on saying. Here are a few of them. First, some people pointed out that they found it interesting that some people or some employers still want it. The thing is, at least here in Sweden, most employers don't actually ask for a testing certification, even though some training providers may claim it. When I was doing research into how much it costs to get your ISTQB certification here in Sweden, I saw a company or a training provider, I won't name them, say that most employers are all prov employers demanded which is absolute rubbish at least here in Sweden I can't speak for the situation in other countries but if you are considering getting a certification do your research first to see where it is actually a requirement and roughly how many employers seem to be looking for it some people pointed out that if someone were to get certified then this signals to them that this person doesn't know that ISTQB isn't helpful. I would say that in the day-to-day, -day, having this certification is not helpful. If we're focused solely on whether or not it will help you get your first job, again, I would say the onus is on you to do your research and see are there actually employers demanding it. And also think about ways you could signal to potential employers that you are a hardworking person who knows their stuff about testing. And later in the video, I'll go more into this as to how you can communicate this. Or one point that a few people made uh, in terms of signaling that I really agree with is that if someone has gone ahead and gotten certified, then this signals to them that this person is making an effort to learn. Now, if you're completely new to an industry and you're trying to break in, I'm going to assume you don't know what you should or shouldn't learn. You're going to do a bit of research, see what people are saying online, and take a good best guess, right? And what I would say is if you've gone ahead and sat down, studied, booked a time with an exam center, and sat the exam and passed, then I would applaud the fact you're making an effort, even though I don't personally agree on the first step you have taken. This tells me that you are a person of action. Getting certified is just one way to signal to employers that you are a potentially good recruit. So if we're going to think about the message we want to convey to a potential employer, let's just assume we want to say, I'm a person who wants to learn more about testing. I've started to learn a bit about testing. I'm a hard worker and I take initiative. That's the message. Now, how else can we convey such a message? ISTQB Foundation Certificate, uh, getting that, is one way to uh, communicate that. But there are other ways. You could create a test portfolio or a test automation portfolio by showing your work. I will link that in the description box below as for my video on that. You could take some software testing courses. I know Test Automation University 
has a lot of great free courses. You could take the BBST Foundation Certificate, a black box software testing. Uh, you need to be a member of the Association for Software Testing to do that course, I believe. Um, but that's also another viable option. The thing I want to highlight here is that you have choices as to how you signal to employers that you are someone worth investing in. Some employers will value this very highly and they think that you must get the certificate or that you must be certified and that's on them. But one thing I'd like to say is just because a requirement is stated in a job ad does not mean it's actually a requirement. Sometimes it's part of a wish list. However, unfortunately, don't always know which requirements are requirements and which requirements actually matter to the person hiring. I hope I've given you some food for thought and I'd love to hear about your experience in getting certified and whether or not that has helped you.